no, we're not gonna go on the yellow boats. Griffin, what do you think? Mom, look, look at this boat. There's so many boats. So there were about three places on this entire cruise that I was really, really, really excited about. Of course, I was excited about all of them. I love exploring new places, but Mykonos was at the top of my list. I was so excited. Like it made the top three and I was not disappointed. Like it was giving all of the classic Greek Mamma Mia vibes and it was just, I was in love. So it was 100% worth it, but we definitely ate our weight's worth of gelato on this trip. Uh, I think every port that we stopped in, we had gelato. Every country that we visited on this trip, we ate gelato and the boys weren't mad. And you know what? I wasn't, I wasn't, I, n nobody was complaining, okay? So I have gotten so many questions on social media about the wrist straps that I use for the boys to keep them attached to us over this trip. Here you see this kind little lady who didn't speak the same language as us, um, but giving us a thumbs up on the wrist straps. So many parents, grandparents, random strangers who couldn't even speak the same language would look at us, look at the straps on the boys' wrists and would like give us a thumbs up or like, oh, that's a great idea. Um, it's a universal language, you know, children will run off and um, nobody likes that. One day is definitely not enough time to do all the exploring and sightseeing and all the things that we wanted to see. We were grateful for every last second that we could have on each of these islands or ports that we were at. Um, but yeah, would have loved more time. We'll definitely put it on the bucket list to come back to some of these places. Sebastian, do you want to try, try the snails that Mama got? I don't know. I've never, I've never had snails before. You want snails? Okay. Just don't think about it, right? Snails. Snails. Mm. It looks like mushrooms. Oh well, now you finished it all for him. Like a clam. It tastes kind of like a clam and a mushroom. Like a clam and a mushroom. Today we are on the island of Crete, which, you know, sounds very biblical. Had to take a bus into town. Um, Crete was not my favorite stop, I'll be honest. I was excited about it. Um, maybe we were in the wrong spot. Maybe we weren't, you know, doing all of the right things, but we got rained out, like, and that was not great. But the food, the food was on point. Totally worth getting rained on, by the way. So here are the wrist straps again. It has a lock and key mechanism, you know, a little bit like a handcuff, sorry kids. Um, the parent side has the key and you just lock the child side so they can't just rip it off. The wire running from parent to child is actual, it's a metal wire. I didn't want the fabric ones where it could be easily cut. Um, I did want the metal ones. It's just a peace of mind thing. You know, my child's not gonna wander off. Somebody's not gonna run off with my child. Highly recommend, I'll link them in the description. I will totally be using these in Chicago as well.
Yep, we're going back to the bus. Walking in the rain, trying to get back to the bus stop. I don't understand the aesthetic between businesses. We have a little like moped scooter repair shop and then right next to it is a bridal dress shop and then another scooter repair shop. I, I don't pretend to understand. Yesterday we left Crete and today we are making port in Argostoli. Oh wow, look at that. We're getting ready to dock. It looks kind of like it's coming over here. You're fishing. Yeah. Look at that. So cool. What do you see? I see the boat. The boat? Yeah. And the slides. Yeah. Okay, this is a little view into our room. We have a balcony on our stateroom. Not all of the rooms have a balcony and a view outside. Um, we were just blessed by the Lord, I guess. We were not going to pay the extra to get a balcony room. And then I got an email saying that we were upgraded for free because okay. I was one of the first to sign up or something. I, I don't remember. Blue on the marker. You do have blue. Griffin had a black one. I am so, so grateful that we have a balcony because it gives us the best views. I had wanted one just for the yeah. photography aspect of it. Um, but yeah, we weren't sure that it was really worth the price. But Jared has spent every single evening out here on the balcony just enjoying the views this is our bed the boys have a pull-out bed um they just basically spend their days destroying the bed and the pillows whatever um it is very messy in here because we have four people and i turn it tiny room uh other people would have more room because they wouldn't have the pull-out bed here is the bathroom just a teeny tiny little bathroom. It's just a tiny bathroom, but honestly, it has more room than the RV bathroom had. So it's really not bad. We're, we're very used to this. Go back out. We have a closet here. I'm not opening that side because it is a mess. Uh, all of our luggage. We've got room in here for our clothes. It's just a mess. This is where everything just lands this souvenir jared bought a pair of sandals when he was out today um i bought some shirts for the boys and then tonight i'll go through and i'll organize this whole mess and then it'll be all back tomorrow <laughs> only a different set of things a different mess that is our teeny tiny little room <laughs> we're gonna be out at sea the whole day tomorrow which will be our only full day of just sea travel. Normally we've been leaving port at night, like around sunset, right after supper. And then by the time we wake up in the morning around seven, eight o'clock, we'll be at the next port. But tomorrow will be the first and only day where we will spend the whole day at sea. There's a mouth on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
We're gonna go on the little boat. The little boat. Yeah. We're gonna go on the little boat. On the little boat. So Couture will always hold a special place in our hearts. Couture was on the top three on our list before we ever left, and I think it kind of stole the show. So just to get off the ship, we needed to get tickets, get on little tender boats. There was a lot of transferring, a lot of waiting, a lot of um, waiting for your number to be called, uh, but Couture was breathtaking. Just sailing into the fjord or whatever you want to call it was just amazing. It was amazing. A pizza spot with my name on it. It was like it was a sign from heaven. Cats are considered lucky here. So cats were literally everywhere and there were cat items that you could buy everywhere. I read various theories on why they were lucky. Some having to do with the plague, others saying that was a myth. Either way, lots of cat items. Shopping today, found a sunglass place with the best shades. They had all of the brands. They had Gucci, they had Burberry, uh, Versace, and Dior. And it was such a steal. I found these 100% legit um, Versace sunglasses for only 14 euros, which is just an absolute steal if you know anything about fashion. And I just cannot believe my luck that I have been able to find such a deal. Um, and if anybody there says that these are rip-offs or that they're knockoffs or that they're fake, I mean, it was a flea market vendor in Montenegro. Like, why would they be fake? Well, that felt like one of our shortest stops. And I think we're all a little bit sad because it was by far one of the prettiest locations. We only have two more nights. <laughs> I'm feeling very sad about it. <laughs> Car or airplane? Um, I'm gonna get two, two, two band aids. Car one. Car one? Yeah. Okay, show mama one. where your ouchie is. <laughs> right here. Be careful where the bumblebee stoned you. The bumblebee hit me stoned The bumblebee stoned I would stomp the stone. <laughs> 
You want a kiss? Thank you. <laughs> Here's the thing, I never thought I would be a cruise person, really honestly never did, but I enjoyed this cruise so much. We had the time of our lives. Can you take a video of Mama? Oh, oh. <laughs> I would beat you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Don't think so. <laughs> Thank you. Split Croatia was number three of the top three. So Mykonos, Greece, Kator, Montenegro, Split Croatia. Not necessarily in that order. I have no idea how I would rank them because I enjoyed all three so much. But those were our top three of the cruise ports. Look at the hats. There you go, there's a hat. Let me see it. <laughs> 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 off the ship today just made port in Italy this morning I went down and just grabbed a whole ton of breakfast for us so we don't have to sit down there because it is early it was time for us to say goodbye to the Royal Caribbean and hello to Italy we're gonna be on this bus for a little while so we will see you in part three don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you in the next one